Hey there, and welcome to video two in our four-part series on Hillbilly Queer by J.R. Jameson. In our previous video, I provided a summary of the memoir and read a little bit from it. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about how place works in the text. I've written about this before for Dr. Bigmore's Why Wednesday. There's a link to that in the description. But place sort of serves as a map of the memories of our lives. It's more than just the setting of our stories. Place has a profound effect on how those stories are shaped. Place helps us remember who we used to be to help us figure out who we're becoming and who we want to be. And place is often literally a map of our memories. I talk about this in the blog post for Dr. Bickmore, but my grandma, Ina Jean, used to have trouble talking about her growing up years in East Tennessee until we ventured down there. And then all these memories connected to landmarks and rivers and local businesses would just rise to the surface. So place functions in Hillbilly Queer in much the same way. The journey from Indiana to Missouri um, between Jameson and his dad, um, and then across the various places of his dad's childhood and young adulthood, is a very literal trip down memory lane. Throughout their trip, Jameson and his dad venture into territory his dad remembers and wants to visit despite being inhabited by folks he never met before, leading to some some comically and, and some just plain uncomfortable situations for Jameson. And they travel past fields full of memories, past private properties to visit an old school. They stop to visit the church and river where Jameson's dad was baptized. They go to their family cemetery and, and so many more places. So sometimes... Place brings up memories that reflect the work of youth and elicit a chuckle now. Um, on page 15, he writes, Jameson writes, We darted down the dirt road, dust swirled around the car, and created a reddish-brown veil over land and sky. Dad recalled stories about coming down this road every day when he was a teenager. He pointed to a low-lying field off to the right, barely visible through the dust settled on the window, and told a story about baling hay one summer and being chased out by a copperhead. Sometimes, in the book, Place connected them to loved ones long since gone. So like when they visit the cemetery, their family cemetery, and then um, Jameson's dad wanted to find the old Babcock School, a one-room schoolhouse that closed after World War II had ended, a place where his Aunt Bonnie had taught, and a place I visited once before with Dad when I was 11. He hadn't been back to the Babcock School since, and now, 26 years later, he vaguely recalled where it was located. So place is kind of a way to call back people we've lost um, and how important keeping those ties um, to place um, are to keeping our memories of those folks alive. At other times in the memoir, Place reflects the complex political divide that Jameson and his dad are trying to build a bridge across for one another. Jameson writes on page 185, when I'd venture outside of the city limits and into the country, almost every house had a Trump sign. So sort of eliciting the kernel of truth to the stereotype that all rural people are Trump supporters, but also throughout the memoir, like challenging that and trying, working really hard to complicate it and nuance it. Everywhere they visited in Missouri, every place connected recollection on the part of Jameson or his dad illustrated the importance of place to memory and how vital both are to Jameson and his dad's desire and efforts to be more than connected strangers. On page 179, Jameson writes, as we pulled onto the exit ramp of an I-44 directed us back east, I thought about those stretches of road that carried me to my family's past. They brought me there to explore Dad's memory lane, but his past was, and is, my past too. Those roads took me back to find things I had missed when I thought there was nothing left to explore between us. Those roads will always lead me home to the places time has forgotten. Memories grown over by political bullshit, smothering our similarities, but we pruned it all to bring our life back together again. I traveled those roads with Dad to rediscover not only the past, but what will be our present and future. 
In that the places featured in this text are rural, the explorations undertaken by Jameson and his dad work to expose the complexities and nuance that exists in rural people and their political beliefs. And that does a lot of work to combat the general inclination of the media to depict all rural people as backwoods, ignorant, racist, and homophobes who have pledged undying allegiance to Donald Trump and everything he stands for. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that about this book. And I'll talk more in depth about that in our video next week where I give my reactions to this book. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. And y'all come back now, would you?